Good evening everyone. I was streaming a bit of Returnal earlier and I just thought uh, I'd have a bit more of a chill live stream later on. Because the, uh, the Returnal stream only lasted about an hour and 40 minutes. I had a few things to do. But it's uh, getting towards 9pm in the UK so I thought I'd just um, have a bit of a chill night on Slay the Spire. Maybe do a couple of hours. Got work tomorrow so see how it goes. I have um, played a few rounds of Slay the Spire before, but I'm still quite new to it, so I'm going to continue as the Ironclad for now, just to get uh, to get a grip of it. Right. Um... I'm just going to go with the max HP up. That's a good start. <laughs> Excuse me, I just need a drink. Yes, if you haven't say played, God, I can't even get my words out. If you haven't played Slay the Spire before, it's it's like one like a card turn-based game sort of thing. A bit of a roguelike, a roguelite. Nah, I still don't quite know the difference. And you've got three energy each turn, at least at the start, with this character. And you've got different options for cards. These are random cards that you have in your deck. You can't choose when how they come out. And you face a number of different enemies. So you can see on this one on the right, there's only one enemy. There's an icon above the enemy's head. So it'll show you what they're doing the next turn. So you can plan ahead. So this shows that he's going to try and attack me for 11 damage. And as you can see, say like defend, that'll take one energy. If I do two defense that's going to defend 10 damage so i'll only take one i could do another defend but i think i'll take one damage and i'll deal six and that's pretty much the basics and when you're ready you can end your turn and it's your turn again so you can see next time he's going to do seven so ooh. so this one does eight damage initially but it also t applies two vulnerable so next attacks will be stronger um you can see it takes 50 percent more damage from attacks after that but it's two energy so what i might do is now i'm going to do one defend and then i think i'll get them vulnerable for the next turn and just take a few damage my character his uh relic i think it is um, after each round he heals a certain amount and different characters have different things that they do so I don't mind taking a little bit of damage but not too much so he's now vulnerable and it looks like he is potentially going to shield himself or do some sort of magic but it doesn't look like he's going to attack so I might as well get some strikes in I think what I'll do is I could do two strikes for 12 or I could do now I'm going to play more vulnerable again and now I'm going to get one strike in. Yep. So we should be able to kill him off in the next round. Unless we get unlucky. No, we've got plenty of... See, he's going to do 14 damage now. But as long as we kill him, which we can. There we go. And then at the end of each round, you get rewards. So you normally get gold. You'll get another card that you can choose from. And a random item. So got a potion here. And you can only hold so many uh, potions. And you can see at the top there I've got one now. Add a card to my deck. Now you don't have to actually choose a card. And you think, well, why would you not choose a card? Well, you don't want your deck to be too large with just filled full of cards. Because the more cards you've got in your deck, uh, the less chance that each card will come out each turn. So you want to find a balance. Um, I mean, Twin Strike's good. Game block and draw one card is also good. Um, I think we're going to go... Ooh, it's tricky. I think I'm going to go with the block. And the map, you can choose where to go to an extent. So, obviously, you can see the legend on the side there. There are points in the path where you can choose to go left or right. 
um, earlier on you probably want to face as many enemies as you can now when you get low on energy and you get to rest point you can either rest to heal I think it's 30% of your health or you can upgrade a card and the shops as well where you can buy things but um, unknown um, it's just random so let's have a look at this if you want to pull it's made a slime group um, some of your gold is missing okay so we can either gather 75 gold but lose HP or lose 21 I'm just gonna lose 21 gold to be honest but yeah that's the basics of the game now it does get more complicated with the more cards you have the different enemies as you can see here the enemies you've got one doing some sort of magic uh, the slime is doing some sort, some sort of magic that could be on me or it could be on uh, their ally so they could be buffing themselves or their ally and the other one is doing eight damage so what we we'll probably want to do is I think we definitely want to do at least one defend and I think we will try and kill if you can kill an enemy early rather than damage multiple you want to do that so now we've only taken three damage uh, it looks like he's going to do magic next time so we can get some attacks in here so I think we'll do bash to make him vulnerable and then get a strike in so he'll be vulnerable in the next turn we might be able to finish him off depending on the cards So, yeah, he's healed himself a little bit, but he is vulnerable, and we can easily kill him off here. Gotta watch, though, like at the box, he's vulnerable with the broken heart sign. If they've got shields, then the shield takes the damage first. So if you've got 10 shield and you do 12 damage, it'll take the shield off and do 2 damage. Um, I know it sounds fairly straightforward, but... So another card... Uh, Deal number damage, put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. So discard is when you're in the round and you've already played the card. It goes in the discard pile. So potentially you could then grab another one that you've already played out of there. Um, gain five block upgraded card and you have for it. That's a pretty good one as well. So you can upgrade your card and depending on what card it is. So if it's a strike, it may do instead of five damage, it may do say eight damage. Sorry, six damage, it might do eight damage. Uh, but it just depends on the card and the attributes. I think we'll go for that one. And like I say, if for some reason there isn't a card you really want in your deck, you can decline to take any. Um, right, well, he has only got 12 health, but it looks like he's got shield. Yeah, so we won't be able to kill him. So we'll do a bit of defend. Oh, I should have uh, done one of these actually. Right, I'm gonna. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. So, off the bat, we can do strike damage. That's fine. So he's dead. We'll do a defend just so we we'll take only three damage in the next go, and we'll get a bit of damage in there we didn't have enough to kill him and I know we can kill him oh actually we've got all blocks here so to be honest we're just going to take put the 10 shield on and uh, we don't need to take the final go There we go. But you always want to check your cards. I mean, that could just kill them, but you always want to check your cards to see what order you want to do them because if you have got something that can weaken the enemy, you want to play that first. So subsequent attacks do more damage. Deal 12 damage, apply two weaken. Now that would be good for a strong opponent. Always watch out for zero energy cards because they are, could be very useful. Um, draw three cards. You cannot draw additional cards this turn. No, that's good. So if you limit it on choice, you can do that. Now, do we want to go to the merchant? I've got a massive amount of gold. And I think we'll just keep going with the enemies. Now, in the merchant shop, you can upgrade cards. You can buy cards. You can buy potions, heal. There's lots of different things you can do. 
So he's going to do quite a bit of damage, so I think we'll better defend for 10. Get a strike in. So we will take 6 damage. Now he's doing 11. So I'm going to do the 8 block. So we'll only take 3 damage. We'll also draw a card, which could be useful. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and then upgrade a card for the rest of combat. And I think we'll do... We'll try and upgrade Bash. So there you go. You see now it'll deal 10 damage and apply 3 vulnerable instead. Going to try that. Press the wrong button, of course. So let's do Bash. And... We will strike. So it's like acid damage, I'm assuming. So I'll take over time. Draw three cards, but you can't draw any other. So if you had any other cards where you could draw items, then you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, strike. We've only got two strikes, so we're going to use this to hopefully get more strikes. Actually, we're going to use Bash because we've got that now. That's really useful. That's the one we just upgraded. And we're not worried about having a shield because he is not doing an actual physical attack. He might do some sort of corrosive damage or... Lick. So I've been weakened, so his attacks will now be stronger against me. But again, he's not doing... Ah, and he's added slime, so some cards can be added in by the enemy, and they're pretty much useless, so you've then got less options to choose from. And um, we can only do two attacks in this one, so I'm going to use this anyway, and upgrade strike. So then what we can do is we can use that strike... And then another. And he's split now. Okay. Interesting. So he's got 21. I'm going to gain 8 block to negate that damage. I've got 2 left. And I'm just going to get the 2 strikes in on him. So shouldn't take any damage, but he's added another. No, he hasn't actually. So got eleven damage on him. Uh, could do one strike, two strikes. Don't really need. It. I'm going to take the battle trance again. Now he's actually weaken me, so my attacks are weaker. I can kill him. So he's doing 7 damage in the next turn. I might as well do... I'll do 2 defense actually because... I think I heal a maximum of 8. It might be. I can't remember. At the end of each round. So I'm going to gain 5 block. I thought he were just short of killing him. So he will do a little bit of damage to us. 5 damage. And then what we can do is we can just kill him off. So you see we heal there for... How much did we heal for? Maybe we heal for 6. So this one is specific situations. So if you've got a lot of strike cards in your deck or in your hand and you deal less, then it's going to do additional damage per strike card. That's a, that's pretty good, but again, very situational. Deal 9 damage. I think we'll just pick them deal 9 damage. Plus it's only 1 energy. Apologies for the noise there. I think we'll actually go to rest, but upgrade one of our cards. And I think we'll just go with a, a strike. It's a good basis to start with. And I think we'll go fairly. So these are like bosses. So 
we might as well get the vulnerable in and get a larger hit in. So he's now stunned, but he is going to do 18 damage next turn, so we could do two defends. But I'm going to do shrug it off because that's a higher defend. I might as well do that to upgrade. And we'll upgrade strike and use that now. So we'll take some damage. So, yeah, we're going to take a fair bit of damage in this one. Right. Um, don't really need to do that, to be honest. Strength down, that's bad. Defend, defend. Right, I'm going to draw more cards. I am going to gain seven block. Good. I think we'll go for another defend and then we'll go for a strike. Because yes, you want to defend, but you want to try and finish the enemy off as well. The longer this goes on, the more likely he's going to get stronger. Um, do you know what? For the sake of four less damage, considering the amount he's doing, I'm just going to try and get more hits in. Don't need to use anything yet. Should be able to kill him off next go. Now go. He's dead. So yes, we took a lot of damage. Got a whetstone. Upon pickup upgrade two random attacks. Bow strike. Good. Not 100% sure on that one. Um, the larger version of block is good. Oh, we've got a campfire as well. So we could heal for 26, which will get us up to 72, I think. So I think we'll use that. Yeah. Treasure. What's this going to be? Gold. Raise your max HP, that's a good one. Um, Sage find it 25% monster returns. Ah, so 25% chance that I'll be then in a battle. Well, that's fine. I don't mind having a battle. Oh, now it's gone up to 50%. That's fine. Oh, but this is a tough guy again, isn't it? Oh, uh, was it guaranteed to be the one I've just faced? Maybe it was. Wait, I'm going to have to do that because I've only got one strike. Right, decent bit of damage on there, but the next one he's probably going to do a fair bit. Yeah, 18. So, I think we'll do this and upgrade. Then we'll upgrade a defend. And then we'll do one of the good strikes. Again, we'll take a bit of damage. Um, right, defend. Defend. And then we'll strike. 
I just want to minimize the damage I'm taking. I don't want to be taking like 10 or 15 damage every turn. But then when you can... Don't think I need any block. No. So I'm just going to skip that last one. So he's going to do 18 damage now. So that's not going to do much. Gain 6 block. 3 block. Need to get his uh, health down. Going to take some damage again, though. Might get some strikes in. Eighteen. So, unless we're lucky, we might be able to kill him. Definitely use this. It's got six there. Six there. We're being unlucky. Yeah, we're going to take a hefty bit of damage just because we didn't have basically one more attack. We really need more attacks. Oh, there we go. We've got one there. Take the headbutt. Again, I'm just having a bit of a drink. Just trying to drink some more water because I've had such a headache today. But, um... I mean, gaming does it really help? I'm not sure, but... So he's going to do 12 damage. So I could negate some of that here. And then I can upgrade a card. That's useful. And I think we'll upgrade the headbutt. And then we can do the headbutt now. And we're not going to take any damage. So he's going to do 12 again. So if I do shrug it off and defend, strike. Yeah, so we're taking his health down and we're not losing any art at the moment. Okay, so he's doing 12 now. If we could do 19, I very much doubt it. Nine there. No, it's fifteen. Just short. So I'll probably do eight block. Do another block. And do nine damage. So it won't take any on this round. And then we should be able to finish him off. Yeah, six and six. So there we go. So we've actually increased our health a bit. Um because we didn't actually lose any in that round. Gain five button, deal five damage. Deal 13 damage, apply one weak, apply one vulnerable. Oh, they're both good. Because this one, not only does it make the enemy susceptible to further attacks, it weakens their attacks as well at the same time. Um. So that's probably good for some of the bigger enemies, not the smaller ones. It is two though. No, I'm gonna take that one. That's that's a really good one. Um I think we'll need to rest again. 
don't really like doing that. I could really want to quite sort of upgrade some of my cards, but. Okay, so he's doing 10 damage. Well, I'll use one block. I use two blocks. And I'll just do a strike. Oh, he steals gold every turn. I mean, he is a thief, but I wasn't 100% sure how that works. So he's going to do 10 again. Right, so this one will be a good one to use because this will weaken him. So he's only doing 7 now. And then I can gain 8 block. I'm drawing a card, which is a bit of a waste because it doesn't carry over. Now he's got... Oh, he's gonna do shield next time. Ah, I've got loads of blocks. Right, I'm gonna do that because it draws a card. I'm hoping it's a strike or something. It is. That's good. He's nearly dead, but then he should have a shield next time. He's got six shield. I'm not sure what that symbol is. Um, I might as well use this. Draw additional cards, and then I've got a strike. Kill him off. And again, we've increased our health a bit. Got the gold back. Got a fair bit of gold now. Now, potions are full, so... Gain two dexterity. I'll get rid of the gain two dexterity because this one's. Oh, two. I thought that one was three for some reason. Pommel strike. We'll go for that. We need more attacks. Two enemies this time. End block. I got two damages, so if I do this to upgrade headbutt, so I'm going to focus on one enemy for now. That's perfect, six block. And kill the one enemy, that's good. So only one enemy left, and he's not going to do any damage to me here. Now he's doing nine the next time. If I do this, I'll make him weaker. So now he's only doing six. I can defend for five. The next turn, I should be able to do more damage to him. Right, I'm going to get some more cards out. Defend. I am going to take a bit of damage here. Could I? Let's have a think. So I can do 18 damage. He will do less damage if I use that. Now let's just take the hit. Because I may want to use those potions for the boss at the end. And it'll have a greater impact. Same percentage, but you'll be doing bigger hits. So he's doing 15. Eight block. Qu quarter less damage, so should do. F well, it might be three less damage or four, I'm not sure. So let's say it goes down to 12. Or we could do this and that. 
13. Yeah, we'll do that. Just trying to do the maps there. It's only take a couple of damage. Now he's got 18. go and he's dead ooh 12 damage and 2 weak back could be good for the boss Yeah. Campfire twenty eight. I think we try and upgrade a card. Take the risk. If we rest we'll be at full health. Um what's the one I just got? Let's do that. If we're lucky to get that. That'll do some good work. 250. Oh, I've got it. Is that the same one I just got? I think it is. So, I'm going to do that first. And just do this one because we don't need to draw a card. Uh oh. <laughs> Seven sixes are 42. To um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to take a fair bit of damage here. But now he's only doing six. Okay. So. Only eight damage. We'll do this because that will negate any damage we take. Do a strike. We'll do another strike. He's still got well over 200 health left. So now he's doing 10. Twenty five percent less damage with attacks. See, I don't know if it rounds up or rounds down because it'll be five. Oh, five times two, not two times five. So we'll do five attacks of two. So I don't even know if I do the twenty five percent, whether that'll even reduce it. Because it'll be Technically, 1.5. Um, let's just take the block. I'm not sure on that one. And... Okay, he's still vulnerable. Unplayable. See, that's another one that they put in the deck. So he's only doing six damage. I'm going to draw cards. I could do. Let's just use five up. We'll take one damage and then we'll do two strikes. I'm um, not sure what that symbol is. I don't know if he is potentially going to heal himself. In flame, our oh, strength's gone up seven times two, so fourteen.
eight block. And he's got no shield. So we're going to take a bit of damage, but we've done a fair bit of damage to him. Four aim six. Right, four times six take twenty five percent less damage. Oh, so it just takes one attack off rather than the actual damage. Okay. Well, I'm gonna gain block on this turn. Oh, what? Um. Block. Yeah, block. Take that. I'll deal 12 damage. And 9 damage. It's going to do 10. We didn't do a lot of damage, but we protected ourselves. Now he's doing eight. Do that, but then we defend. Good, good, good. It's cutting a close though. Nearly dead here. Ah, <laughs> oh, look what's happened. Right, I'm gonna use draw three cards. And he's got 12. Right, we need the block. And we'll do this to weaken his attack as well. Ah, uh, dead. So close to killing him there. I have got past the first sort of world or level before. I don't know if it's in the stats. Um. That one. Slain on floor 33. This is 16. Wow, that was a good run. So you can see here, he... Um, yeah. Burning Blood, at the end of combat, heal 6 HP. And the Silent... At the start of each come up, draw two additional cards. Let's try the silent. We haven't used that before. Enemies in your next three combats only have one HP. Hmm. 
And let me take the max HP. Let's try that. Now, which way are we going to go? Uh... Right, there's an elite, a couple of elites to the left. There's one elite to the right. Seems to be more choices with the second from the left. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. All enemies lose six strength this turn. Deal damage, next turn gain energy. Ooh. I like this idea of they lose six strength for the enemies though. Now I'm going to go over that one, gain energy on the next. Remove a card from your deck. No. Deal six damage for each attack to play this turn. Okay. So that'd be a good third card move if you've already attacked twice. Or more. Because I'm gaining energy with this guy as well on certain moves. So that could stack up as well. Um, Lose 14 HP. I don't really want to do that. Remove a card from my deck. I don't think I want to do that yet either. I haven't had a good look at my cards. So, do we want to go elite now? Um, ha yes, because I think will he have one HP? He will. Oh, brilliant. Okay, that's one to think of. If you've got an elite quite early on and you've got that um, that starting one HP, then that's. Uh, Good way to go. So this is for additional poison. Draw one card, discard one card. I don't know if it's random where you get to choose them. That one would be a good one if you don't really want to if the enemy's not really attacking this turn, yeah, let's go for that. I like this character so far. Just very different than I'm used to. That's got actually shows you as well. So if I do one damage, two damage, deal six damage for each attack, so I should do 12. Yes. Now he's doing six. That's zero. I might as well use that. That's interesting. So, 25% of six is one and a half, but it reduced it by two. So, I think it rounds up. Okay, so he's only doing four, so I'll just do a block. I'll do eight damage and gain more energy next turn. And I'll gain more energy next turn again. So that pretty much guarantees us to finish him off next time. So he's only got 17, so six. 
yeah, we can finish him off here. There we go. Deal four damages to all enemies twice. It's eight enemies. Eight damage. I do want to know what the difference between... I haven't found a scenario yet, or at least I've noticed, where, say, instead of doing eight damage, doing four damage twice, which is, in essence, the same. But there must be certain situations where it's better to have more attacks, even if it's technically doing the same damage. Maybe if there's some sort of other buff where, like, for every attack you do, it does something else. Um... Definitely upgrading because we've got full health. This one's a really good one. So if we're going to upgrade that, 11 damage and you gain energy next turn. And it's only one energy anyway. Right, which way do I want to go? Ooh, could upgrade. We can go that way as well though. I think we'll just go this way. Ah, that, that was a good choice. Ooh, lots of enemies here. Six. Oh, brilliant. Wow. <laughs> That was the perfect card to come up in that situation with, what was the five enemies there? Six enemies? Deal five damage. That's fine. Deal eight damage. That's one we've already got. It's good though. Deal 12 damage. Whenever you play a card this turn, the enemy loses three HP. So that's similar to the other one where the more attacks you've done, the more damage that card does. If you play this one first, potentially if you've got cards with zero cost on, you can play them and they will damage the enemy. Let's try it. Bit of a test run. Um, I think we'll want to go to the Elite. I think we we'll want to try it. 110, that's not too bad. He's sleeping at the moment. Deal six damage to all the enemies twice. Okay. Eighteen damage next. Definitely want to use this then. So that reduces that to 30, and that's massive. And we'll definitely defend. So we'll take a bit of damage here. Of course, with this guy, I don't gain HP each turn, so... Discard that one. Oops. Yeah. Defend again. Defend again. So that was perfect. We're not going to take any damage. I'm going to gain energy next turn. Because we may need it if he's going to attack. Yep, so he's doing 18 damage. Now we've got 5 energy. Twelve block. Okay. That's four, eight, twelve. I'll tell you what, we'll do that. Use the potion. And now we can do one more defend. And we'll take two damage, that's fine. Which 
Which we might as well do one more. And there's no point of using this card because uh, we're blocking all of his attack anyway. Do the weakness again. Might as well do that. Yes. And we'll get rid of that card. And then we'll attack. So we'll take, again take a little bit of damage. Hey, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Yeah, to be honest, this was a bit of an unplanned stream. Um, obviously, I stream Returnal this afternoon. And then there was the Resident Evil 4 video that went up at 8. And then after that, I thought, you know what? I just fancy a bit of a chilled stream. It's Sunday night. It's it's about, well, it was about 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. when I started UK time. Just fancied a bit of a chilled stream before I'm like, at work tomorrow and busy week ahead. So I'm playing a bit of Slay the Spire. So I don't know if you've uh, ever played it or seen much of it before. Um, it's just a pretty chilled game. After Returnal, which you'll have to watch the VOD. Um, I'm putting it on YouTube tomorrow at 5pm, so you might want to watch it. Um, but uh, it was really good. So, I need to try and get rid of this guy in this turn, so he's got 8 health. There we go, he's dead. Then just go at the start of each combat, add three shivs in your hand. Shivs are zero cost attack cards. Well, that's great. What's that? Explosive. Good. Gain to dexterity. You haven't heard of the game. It's it's like a card game, a card battle game, um, rogue like. Yeah, it's a mixture of different sort of um sort of styles I suppose. I'll I'll explain it as I go. I did explain it at the start of the stream but I'll uh I'll explain. Oh don't worry about the um the premiere. I thought you'd miss it with your exams and obviously I know you were saying earlier that you're probably going out with your mates and stuff so like I say, I put the premiere on there because it's good to have it live, but, you know, if you get a chance to watch it another time, great. You know, there's more important things. Um, you know, you can watch it any time in the future anyway. I am going to take this. But yeah, Resident Evil 4, there are now... Well, you haven't watched tonight's, and there's two more after this, so tonight's... There's going to be another one next Sunday, and then the Sunday after, which is the 19th of March, that's going to be the finale, um, and that's going to be a longer episode. The, the finale is going to be, I don't know how long it's going to be yet, but I only finished recording it last night. Um, but so far, I think raw footage I've got about, I've got well over an hour. I'm going to cut it down a bit, obviously, but it may end up being around about an hour long. I'm not sure. Um I don't know some of the other videos I've done on it recently have been about 30, 35 minutes, but I think they're probably a little bit better if they're a bit longer. Um, so we're in a store here so we can buy cards. And we can also heal, I think. Bag of marbles. Ooh, whenever you use a potion heal 5 HP, that's really useful. I'm gonna buy that. Um I need some health. Um Right, 
let's go. Leave the shop. Oh, we can rest here, actually. And the good thing, um, Young Debbie, that the, the good thing about the Resident Evil 4 stuff is I did try and time it so that I would finish the series around about the same time the Resident Evil 4 remake comes out. And probably by a little bit of luck, the 19th is when the last episode is going to be on, and then the week after is when the remake comes out. It comes out on the 24th, I think it is. So I've timed it absolutely perfect. Um, I thought it might overlap a little bit, but... So in essence, the game, yeah, it's it's like a card game, turn-based, roguelike. Um, there's different characters you can choose, and you've got a deck of cards. Each, each hand's random, so each round, you, you know, you'll pull some cards out of your deck, but it's random what you get. Um, you've got energy, which is in the bottom left, the three out of three. Each card displays how many energy it takes, and obviously they do either damage or they can block, do different things. My character's on the left, so that's his health. On the right is the enemy, so there's only one in this bit, uh, but you can have multiple enemies. And above his head shows you what he's doing next, so the next turn he will be doing 10 damage. Um, his health bar is there. If he had a shield, that would be above his, his health bar. So ideally what you want to do is obviously take as little damage as possible. So um, I can actually do two defense for 10 block now. So I'm not going to take any damage the next turn. I've got one turn left. So I could do, say, this, which is really good. So this does 11 damage, but in the next turn I also gain additional energy. So in the next turn I can do even more. So I'm going to use that. And I've got these shivs, so these take no energy. Final Fantasy and Hearthstone, yeah, it's it's like a mixture of games. It's really really good, and it's it's quite simple, but it's quite got a lot of depth the more you play it. And because it's a rogue, like each time it's it's different. Um, yeah, these shivs use no energy, which is great. So, you know, I've I've took over half his health off in in one go, and now I've got four energy this turn. Yeah, I believe it's yes yeah, procedurally generated. So the, there's a map which I'll show you after this round. Like you can pick which route you go down. Enemies are fairly random. Um. Yeah, I think it is random every time. Now there's there's a there's a set amount of types of enemies I believe. Um, but in terms of the map and which enemies you get, I think it can be random. There's always a boss at the end of each sort of big section, um, which. You missed before, but I just lost against the boss narrowly. Um, I'm going to apply weak on here. So he's going to do... Actually, let's have a look. Two weak. Gain block. Oh, I might as well do that. Um, so that's reduced his attack, but it's given me block as well. Yes, I did defeat Frike in Returnal. Um, you'll have to watch the VOD. Um, obviously, it'll be on Twitch. You want to watch it there but uh like i say i've already got it uploaded on youtube and ready to go it's in private at the moment but it'll be uploaded tomorrow at 5 p.m uk time um and i did actually put the video of me defeating frike on twitter um i did a little short video like two or three minutes um yeah it was spoilers so good job you don't mind them Six damage twice. I'll just do that. I'll kill him. But yeah, there's a there's the video on Twitter as well. But if you want to wait for the VOD, um, or do both, <laughs> apply ninety nine vulnerable. Ninety nine vulnerable. Does not. I want to see what this 99 run rule is. I mean, that sounds like it just pretty much makes the enemy a one-shot. So, right. This is a campfire, so you can either choose to rest, which heals 30% of your health. I've got full health, so I don't need to do that. 
the other choice is you can upgrade one card in your deck so I'm going to do that so what should we do deal six damage for each attack Um, I think I might just go with basic damage increase yeah why not watch both might as well but I'm really enjoying Returnal. Obviously, you watched the last stream when I played it. I've been playing it a little bit in between, like, not streaming, just to try and get used to it. Um, and I think I've got to grips with it a little bit more. I'm still not great at it. And... But I've learned a couple of things. So, like, the Ether on Returnal, you kind of don't want to spend that on... You know, when you're picking up items and you can stop it from being malignant and causing you things... You can use ether to stop that. You kind of don't want to do that because the ether is probably really like important. Um, and I think I had used quite a bit. And it's one of the only things in the game that sort of carries over. So um, you can actually use ether for something else which is like semi-permanent. So I've learned a bit about that. So this is the boss. Um, right, let's have a look. Right, I don't want to use weak because he's not attacking yet. I might as well use the shivs because they're free. I'm going to do damage and gain energy next turn. Do the damage twice. And deal 9 damage. So next turn he's probably going to do a bit of a... He's added exhaust into my deck. So he's still not doing much. Deal 12 damage whenever you play a card this turn, deal 3. 99 vulnerable. I want to try this. What does that... 99 vulnerable. So if I do 6 damage... No. Oh. Well, I don't know what the 99 vulnerable was for then. Have I played Corona Trigger? I haven't. I've heard loads of people mention it. There's been a few people I follow on Twitter that um, play Corona Trigger. I've never played it myself. Is that... It's not. That's not a card game, though, is it? But is it similar, like, turn-based um, sort of game? Final Fantasy Tip. It's the GOAT game. Yeah, I've heard a few people. There's a couple of YouTubers that I follow, and they say like it's one of their all-time favorite games. Um, just never played it myself. Haven't played that many Final Fantasy games. Um, I remember playing Final Fantasy. Hang on, I always get them mixed up. Final Fantasy Twelve. Back on the PS2 or PS3, I can't remember. Loved it, but it's such a massive game. I was like, I didn't even. Played it for hours and hours and hours, and I hadn't made it like five percent through the game. I even had the guidebook and everything. Um, Pro Jared videos on YouTube. Pro Jared, that rings a bell. Does he do quite a lot of that sort of stuff, like um, RPG sort of JRPGs and stuff like that? Okay, I like finding different. Um, YouTubers that do different things. Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Yeah, if you get a YouTuber that's really specialised in a type of game and they're really good at it, um, I quite like watching games I wouldn't play myself as well. So, for example, I do like Final Fantasy. I'm interested to see what the new one looks like that's coming out this year because um, I've wanted to buy a Final Fantasy game for a while. But again, it's they are big games. But it's probably the type of game that I would watch someone like do themselves. That's why you like watching my videos. Okay. Yeah, I think it's I'm gonna use my potion here as well. Um Yeah, it's um I like both. I like watching things that obviously I, I like playing as well, but it's it's just good seeing a different genre of game that I'm not either I'm not very good at 
or I'm not particularly familiar with. Um, he's turned into two slimes. Don't really need to defend here. Gain six block, don't need to do that. Deal two damage, apply one week, we'll do that. Deal six damage, draw one card, we'll do that. And we will discard block because we don't need that. Apply two weak. Oh, we don't need block. I'm just going to deal damage and gain energy. Yeah, Resident Evil 4. Um, yeah, I totally get it. Like why you probably don't feel like you've played it yourself. Because I know you said you got stressed um, in certain situations in that game, didn't you? And I, I, I totally get it. I mean, the, the only reason, and I still get stressed in it, um, but because I've played it so many times, I sort of know most of the things that are going to happen. You still get the odd time when an enemy will just, you'll not notice them and it'll surprise you. Um, God, these guys are doing a lot of damage. Um, gain three block, that's not going to do anything. So I'm going to take 32 damage here. Deal four damage. I'm going to... I'm going to play my attacks first. Might as well do that defend for all three a blocker does. And this will do 12 damage. I can't quite kill him, which is unlucky. Now we split again. Four damage. And now at five. I'll deal four damage twice. I will do that. Okay, so I've got more energy next turn. He's doing 16. Right, we definitely want to do weak, so that'll reduce his attack. So that's 12 now, so that's good. We could do... And we'll do two defense, so we shouldn't take any damage. Magic the Gathering. See, that's another one I don't really know. Um, Final Fantasy, I can certainly compare it to from playing a couple of the games. Um, but Hearthstone, I, I think I did play... I think I did try Hearthstone for a while. I think it was like the mobile version I tried. Magic the Gathering, I haven't tried. Um, there's now I can play here. Gain block. Don't need a block. Don't need a block. And this only does damage if you've already attacked. So I've got to skip my turn on this one. Um. Six damage, four damage. Deal nine damage. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll do that. So we split again. Definitely want to kill at least one of them. I don't know if we can. Actually, we can. Can we? Nope. <laughs> it's gonna take fourteen damage here. It's a bit of a bit of a blow. Now go. That's the boss done. Got a trophy for that as well. Choose one of three random colourless cards to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Thanks, yeah. This is the first time I've done a run with this character. Um, and he's actually really interesting because the other character I did is pretty much like a warrior. Like a, f a fairly straightforward attack, defend, attack, defend. This guy seems to be a bit more... 
like magic type. Um, probably a bit more interesting. We would deal 30 damage to all enemies. This turn, your next skill is played twice. No. Enemy loses X strength. Apply X weak exhaust. Uh, and that that's for your energy. So whatever energy you've got, it'll do that. So strength. Remove until... No, I'm going to deal a thir 13 damage to all. That's good. And we've got a nice chest, so you get one relic you can choose at the end of a boss battle. Double the effectiveness of potions. That could be okay. At the start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start each combat confused. Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. I'm not sure about that. Upon pickup, obtain a unique curse and three relics. Then I'm just going to go with the potions being doubled. Just a quick one. I mean, I've been playing for over an hour now, so if the sound's uh, a bit off, it's uh, a little bit late. But is the sound okay? I did turn the game volume down a bit, so it's probably not really loud. Sounds alright, yep, yeah, it's fine. The idea of wheels really boosted the reach. I used to get 1.4k views, but the wheels give me 3k. That's brilliant. Was that just on Instagram? You haven't put any on yeah, because Instagram's wheels, isn't it? Um That's really good. So like you've got over double your normal reach. Hey, it was a great video. It was, um, how do I put it? It was like very short, concise, um, like very, very well edited. And I think the shorter video is, the harder it is to edit. And it can take like strangely longer to edit um, to get it just right. Like the type of video you did and the couple of the other ones I've seen you do on Instagram. Um, but like I said, they are like ideal for YouTube shorts. Yeah, exactly, you can edit them more. Like, clearly you've taken a lot of footage. I don't know how much footage you initially started with, but you, you must have started with a fair bit of footage that you've sort of drilled it down into that. I mean, how long was the video? Was was it only about 40 seconds long or something? I can't remember how long it was. I know it wasn't massively long. 45, oh, that's close. Yeah, exactly. The, the longer videos, it depends, because... Like for me, like the Resident Evil 4 Let's Play, for example, there's quite a bit of editing, but it's it's normally chunks of editing. So you'll be cutting out a boring bit where you're running from A to B. Some of the fast paced action bits, I do quite a lot of um, fast editing, you know, like when I'm like knifing the enemies, like to, to make it look a bit stupid when I'm knifing like 10 enemies in a row, all of that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit more like relaxed the editing I suppose but I have done some highly edited short videos before those trailers I did on the, the golf games although they weren't fast paced um, they took the most time and effort I've ever done on videos and they were only like one of them was f the longest one was four minutes the other two were like about two minutes 46 minutes to render a 45 second video yeah all the effects all that stuff damn right let's start the next so 
This is the same run, by the way, but it's just like the next world or area. Um, I've only ever made it past the first area. I haven't, I haven't finished the second area, and I don't know how many areas there are. Um, so these guys are doing 10 damage, so ideally if we can... Six damage to all enemies, that could be useful, but we really want to block. So that's not going to negate 10 damage. Is there any other blocks? There's not. Let's just go with the six damage twice, and we're going to have to take the fact that we're going to take 10 damage. Okay, and again they're doing 10. Okay, right, well this one's really good because this will give me 11 block and weaken one of the enemies. So I'll weaken him, so that's 17 and I've got 11 block. And I can gain 8 block here, so that's great. And get rid of a card. Right, they're not attacking this turn. This is good. Deal 6 damage. Deal 13 damage to all. Doing that. Deal 6 damage. I'm going to use this potion. So choose one of three random colorless cards and add two copies to your hand and they cost 0 this turn. Game 30 block. 30 block? Reduce the cost of a random gun yard to zero. Okay, I'll do that. Great, that was strike. I use that again. Strike. Right, that's fine. And I'm not sure what that symbol above the head is, but it doesn't look like an attack. Oh, is that them stealing? I think these are thieves, aren't they? They might be stealing money from me. Um, so 15. Uh, yes, that will do exactly 15 damage. No, it won't because he had a shield. I misread that. Um, let's just kill this guy. Oh, he just disappears. All right. Oh, he disappears with your money because he steals the money. I uh, get it, so you have to kill him in time. Yeah, he just left. His mate got killed, and he's like, right, well, that's me gone. Um, 14 damage to all enemies. Another good one. He just stole my money and left. Exactly, just saw his mate go and he's like, nah, this isn't for me. I wasn't that good friends with him, I'm leaving. And um, yeah, the Returnal stream I did earlier, I didn't do that long actually. Um, I only did about an hour and 40 minutes or something, so the stream wasn't massively long, so the video was not massive. Well, it's still an hour and a half, isn't it? It's still like a movie, but um, it's an intense game, you know, it's um, 
this is why I fancy playing this. This one's I can just chill and take my time. Um, I kill him, kill him. Die. Oh, he's stunned. I didn't know you could do that. Strike. Let's kill him if we can. Deal six damage for each attack played. No, three damage. What am I talking about? There we go. Yeah, Returnal is one of the games you'd rather enjoy watching rather than playing. Yeah, I totally get it. Um, strangely, normally I would say the same for me, but now that I've gotten... When I did that first stream and then played it a little bit more in between, just off camera, um, now that I've got to grips with it, it's still really... It's a hard game. Um... I've got to grips with the mechanics and still a couple of things I'm not 100% sure on. Um, but I've unlocked a new biome, so when you con when you defeat Frike, you unlock a new biome. Um, and the new biome has got new enemies, and the first time I saw a few of them, I was like, what the hell is going on here? Um, all enemies. You rage quit when you don't save in a story mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's one of those games. Like, at first, you say, oh, great, I've reset the whole thing. But gradually, you are, there are certain things that you are progressing. It's a really unique game. I've, I mean, I know there are similar games. Like, there are games with time loops and there are roguelike games and all that. But the way it's done is, I don't know, it's really clever. I, I wasn't sure how much I'd like it or not. And then one of my favorite YouTubers did a video. Um, and then he did a live stream as well and I watched it and I thought you know what this is I'm going to give it a go and I've been thinking about it for a while because it's been out for a year I think and then it came out on the PC recently um, but yeah it's just it's a really fun game but again it's it's not a relaxing game at all. So. You have to manually save the old Pokemon games. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, I... The PS5, or the games on it, basically never crash. Nothing ever goes wrong. You know, like anything, things can happen. And I was recording Resident Evil 4 last night. And I didn't say it in the video, but there was a certain section I got to where you have to face a boss. Um, twice, pretty much. It's like got two... It's split into two phases, almost. And in the middle of the second phase, and I was going to win the battle at some point, um, the game just crashed. And... Luckily, the way I record Resident Evil 4, and I'm glad I did, is I don't record all in one video. So I'll do it in one sitting, but what I'll do is I'll I'll say record for like, if I'm doing a section, I'll record it. And then when I get to the end of the section or save point, I'll normally like stop the recording and start again straight afterwards. So it's in segments. Um, I don't do that with like PES 2021. I just do it all in one video because it's only like one game and it's about 25 minutes of footage that I get down to about 17, 18 minutes, but Resident Evil 4, it's like a lot of videos, it's a lot of raw footage. Um, luckily, I had stopped, I had saved the recording before that battle and saved the game, um, but when it crashed, it, it, it crashes the recording as well, so I would have been screwed if I had recorded like 40 minutes or something. Um, I had to go back to a save which was about 
10 minutes of play I had to do again and then get to the boss battle and then do that. And it was fine, it was just a bit annoying. Um, so yeah. That was fun. But gonna learn from that and, and keep doing what I'm doing and doing it in little sections. So if it goes wrong, it's only gonna be a certain amount of footage uh, lost. So he's gonna do, I'm gonna gain block. I might as well just gain block here. I'll do some shaves on him. And I might as well play this card. So this card does six damage for each each attack you've done. So I've already done three, so this should do 18. Yeah, it's pretty annoying when you lose progress. Even more so if you, I don't know if you've ever had a save wiped completely. God, it's horrendous. Apply three damage and weak. Right, let's weaken him. Deal 12 damage whenever you play a card this turn. Mm, no, we're going to use this. And we're going to use this. So should be able to kill the one on the right next turn. Oh, he's got 15 shield. And he's got 12 attack, so... We're just going to have to take the hit on this one. Um, defend, going to deal 14 damage to all, and then 13 damage to all. He's healed as well. Apply two weak, gain 11 block. Ah, I don't really need the block though. Um, we'll do weakness. And we don't need to do any of them. Yeah, but Slay the Spy is a really fun game, really chilled. Um, I think you can get it on the Switch as well. This would be an ideal game like to play on the Switch. And I know it's on there. It's like a, a fun game you could play when you're traveling or you just play in bed or whatever you want to do. Um, obviously, I'm playing this on the PS5, but and it was originally on the PC. Deal 12 damage. Gonna use this because I've got four energy. So do that. He's dead. Good. And we'll just use this one. Have you got any more exams or coursework or anything like that you've got to do? Because I know you had quite a busy few weeks. I'm going to defend myself here because I can't kill him. Um, I'm going to gain energy next turn. You've done a fair bit, but you've still got quite some to do. Okay. Well, at least you made some progress. It's a... Uh, was he super stressful? So what time is it where you are now? Is it about like two in the morning or something? Nearly four o'clock. Okay, four a.m. So you are, so yeah, because isn't India? It's like for some reason it's not like th it's not five hours ahead. It's like five and a half hours ahead for some reason. I think plus five and a half. Yeah, never quite understood why the half what, with the half because most countries are either one or two or whatever. Um, 
Damn, four o'clock. Yeah, so it's like ten at four there. He's going to do eight times three, so that's twenty-four. Right, we definitely want to make him weaker. Too weak. Weak again. Six times three again. So I could just do blocks and then do damage. He's got eighteen. Right, I'm going to deal damage and hopefully I get a good card. Six damage. Uh, can't quite kill him, so I'm just going to do the... Let's do that. Right, we'll kill him off in the next turn. You haven't even had time to have a haircut. That's not good. Yeah, and just to let you know, at the end of each battle, you get to choose one card out of three, but you don't have to. So there are certain situations where either the cards just aren't that great or you don't want to flood your deck with loads of cards because then the chances of you getting the one you want are reduced. Um, draw cards until you have six in your hand. At the start of your turn, add a shiv into your hand. Shivs are good. Draw for uh, at the start of your turn. Add a shave into your hand, but it costs one. That's not great at all, actually. Uh, I'm going to do the draw for cards. No, I'm not. I'm going to do draw until you've got six. That's a good one. Um, I wish. I was into chess, as in I wish I could play it. I haven't played it in ages. My dad absolutely loves chess. I think I tried to play him once and he got really frustrated because I'm just absolutely crap at it. So I was just like, I don't know, I just move it. Like I know I know the basics, I know how to move the pieces and all that stuff, but in terms of tactics, I don't know. I've actually been watching um Oh, what's the guy called? He's a really famous uh chess guy, he's got a good YouTube channel. What's he called? Um, I'm just having a quick look here to see if I can find him. 1200. Okay, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, so um, Grandmaster Hikaru has got a YouTube channel. Um, you probably know him, I'm guessing. Um, he does some good videos on it. The reason why I got it into into chess a little bit recently, just watching videos on it. He's the second best, is he? Because I know, is it, um, Mag is it Magnuson? Is that his weird name? Is he the best one? I think that's his name. Um, yeah. Because I know there's been some controversy in chess recently, like um, someone was accused, Magnus Carlsen, that's it, not Magnuson. Um, there was someone accused of Magnus, who basically didn't quite accuse someone of cheating, but he basically did, and then he walked out of a match and stuff. Um, yeah, and they reckon that the guy, there was rumours that the guy that was cheating had um, some sort of thing that he basically had like something shoved up his butt um, and it's complicated. It's a really weird story. I don't know if you've heard it, but it's such a funny like way of, it's just a meme, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it was just funny though, like, because 
that that's the thing is like it started as a meme but loads of loads of people have taken it seriously like could he have actually done that and like um technically it's it's like possible but um it's just really funny yeah that was it someone um 85 gold obtain a relic i'm gonna do that what did i get what did i actually get how do you i can't remember how you air uh... ah there we go potions always appear in combat rewards okay So, deal nine damage. Okay, we'll do that. We will discard block because we don't need that. We'll do some shaves. We will also deal damage to gain energy next turn as well, and we'll deal six twice. Not bad going. But yeah, chess is one of those games, again, that it's probably one of those things, I don't watch it a lot, but I have been watching it a bit recently. Um, I don't think I could just sit and watch a normal match, but watching videos like Hikaru and things like that, or people just speaking about it, and then watching them play people, but also like comment on it and stuff. Um, I like that side. But if I was just watching a literal match between two people, I wouldn't know enough about what was going on. Um, especially like the fast paced ones. So he's doing eight damage. I'll apply weak, so I'll take no damage. And I'll actually just gain lots of energy for the next turn. Yeah, so like we are saying about games earlier, I think chess is probably one for me that I uh, certainly couldn't play it because you would need a lot of practice. And I think it's one of those things you'd have to sort of go up with a little bit. Um, you played a lot when you got more, passed away, and then exams hit. Do you feel like it's a, a good way of like de-stressing? Because it's because you have to concentrate on it. Um, I always feel for me if I'm concentrating on something it makes other things easier because I'm not thinking about you know other things why is this strike costing three energy oh he's I see what he's done he's cursed me or something so it was for you yeah I think everyone has to have something that they can use to either switch off or um, just maybe improve your mentally if you're going through a difficult situation. If Polga's father actually trained her to become a chess prodigy, and she did, showed that prodigies aren't born but are rather made. Well, I think there's two things to that. I think there's it's the same as anything, like even I know it's not the same, but um, 
there are some people, most people, um, have to work hard for something. Um, you know, people can naturally be better at others at things as well. You can have a certain, the way your brain works, you might be able to play, um, like my dad can play chess because I think he's got the right mental sort of, uh, the way his brain works. Um, like, you know, some people are very arty and some people are very logical. But you're right, I think there's a lot of things where if you train hard enough, even if you're not that skilled in it naturally, um, if you put enough time and effort in and you've got the right people around, you can you can get good at anything, really. But if you've also got natural talent, you know, that can just get you far and above other people as well. So if I deal I oh, killed him, finally. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Yep, yeah, totally agree. Deal 12 damage. If you have discarded a card... No, we're going to go for flying knee again. Right, we're getting to a bonfire, which is great timing because we're really low on health. That last uh, battle took us out of it a bit. Is so it you can see it in sports like... There are certain, um, oh no worries mate, yeah it's like literally, what time is it now? Yeah it's literally just gone past four isn't it? So, yeah good luck with all your, like stuff coming up, and uh, I'll speak to you soon, but if you get a chance in the next couple of days, um, well the VOD's going up at 5pm so it'll be like 9.30pm your time on YouTube, uh, Returnal tomorrow and yeah Resident Evil 4 is last week others watch that'd be great cheers mate have a good one no worries yeah see you dude see you soon I'll be streaming again soon so don't worry One week, we'll do that. And D11 damage, definitely do that. Definitely do the shapes because these are zero anyway. I might do this to see if I can draw a decent card. Can't play that one anyway. So I'm going to take a fairly hefty bit of damage here. And he's doing 21 damage next time. Gonna again take a little bit of damage. So I'll we'll just use these twenty one. Can we do twenty one? He's going to do 21 damage again. We've got 21 health, so. And only can gain 3 block on each. Um, 9, 15, 19. I'm just short of killing him. Um, let's drink the potion. 
let's defend as much as we can. And we're only just going to survive. Something to get one with a zero, possibly, but no. Right, we'll just kill him off. It's 17 health left. Upgrade all your cards in your hand for the rest of combat. Oh, wow, that's good. Cover dexterity. Need the health or the blocks. Um. Upgrade all your cards in your hand for the rest to come out. I think we're just going to have to use it. Because... Well, we're going to die soon, aren't we? So... Don't need block. I'm going to apply vulnerable to him. I'm going to deal shift damage as much as I can. So that'll do 12. Ah, brilliant. Absolutely perfect. And... Just do that. Ugh. Is this shield just going to keep going up and up? Gain two dexterity, seven block. Ten times two. Right, we're gonna have to go for this one week. Okay. We definitely need this. We definitely need this. Get rid of that. Oh, he's doing ten, so I will survive this no matter what. Do I do six damage or do I just I'm just gonna gain as much energy as I can. Right, weak and block. Brilliant. Does weakness not work on him at all? So we're going to avoid any damage. Now he's doing 10. 
but he's only got one shield and 14 health. So we can do 15 damage. That was tough. Gain 10 dexterity at the end of your turn, lose 10 dexterity. That's going to be. Deal 4 damage whenever you draw this card. Add a copy of it into your hand. Exhaust. Might as well. Sorry, I'm just shuffling around here. Ah, oh, brilliant. If your HP is at or below 30% at the end of combat, heal 12. Uh, but it's not going to take... It's not going to wait until the next battle. Transform a card. Eh. I don't know what it changed to. Can't go elite. Uh, 99 health. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. Um, right, we're going to do that. We will... Can we just try and maybe kill this guy off? So then we've only got one enemy at face. To be fair, it's a very tough enemy. Right, well, we'll do that. We will. Aha. If somehow we get through this battle, I don't know how we will, but. You got six damage for each attack. Deal nine damage. We'll do that. We will get rid of defend. We'll do another strike. We'll do another strike. And then we'll do damage here. Oh damn, he's down to three. I don't know how we got through that. And we've got another Blessing of the Forge. Game block 5, draw 2 cards. All enemies lose 6 strength this turn. I think we'll do that. We need to be just quite defensive at the moment. Um, again, let's go random. Uh, not great, but 5 times 2. Right, we've potentially got weak. Right, we need the block. We need the weak. So that's six. So we'll take one damage potentially. Deal eleven damage. Gain energy next turn. Yeah, we're going to take one damage, which, when you've only got uh, well, less than 20 health, it's not great, but... Okay, so he's doing six. Right, what would... Oh, I should have used this. Uh, 
Um, right, we're going to draw more cards to hopefully get... To be, yeah, that's a good one. And then if we do... Eight damage for each attack, so that'd be 16. Right, we need... Hang on, let me think. He's going to do 6 damage. If we block... He's still going to do 1. If I kill him... If I block, I'm going to take 11 damage. If I kill him, we're only going to take 10. Even without the block. 6, so that'll be 12... 14 damage to all enemies. And it got rid of my block, which I was going to use as well. Damn. Okay, so we're going to take 10 damage. If I had a thought, I should have played my block first. Ooh. Can I do... 33 damage. 13. I'm going to have to take the dexterity. And then we have to kill him in the next bit, basically. Oh, no. Why? Oh, no, this is the worst. I actually can't do anything. No, I didn't. I'm dead anyway. <sighs> yeah, lost by one health point there. Close to another unlock. Floors claimed 145. Pretty good. I've got a new character as well. I'm not going to do another run because we're about two hours now and it's getting late uh, for me. So, just going to have a quick look though. The defect. Combat automaton, which becomes self aware. Ancient technology allows the manipulation of orbs. At the start of each combat, channel one lightning. Now, I'm not sure what lightning does, but we'll find out. I really like the silent though. It's a it's an interesting one to play with. Obviously the HP's difficult to manage. Um Dying Cloud's got more HP to start with and he gains six every turn or at the end of every combat rather. So you can risk a little bit more, a bit more tanky. Um be interested to see what the last one is. This character is unlocked by winning a standard run and having the third character unlocked. Okay. Play a daily claim to unlock this game mode. Okay. 
uh, let's just have a quick look at yeah so the one I just had was nearly my best not quite and what else have we got here character stats when a part of 1 HP I don't know if there's more game modes besides just Daily Climate and whatever the custom is. Um, but yeah, really enjoying Slay the Spire. Like I say, this isn't the first time I've played it. I've played it, as you can see, a couple of run-throughs before. But by no means an expert. Still getting used to it. Interested to see what the new characters are going to be. It's just a fun, chilled game though. And you can easily sink quite a few hours into it and not realise. So... Yeah, I hope everyone watched, did enjoy. Like I say, um, this will be going on YouTube as a VOD. And no doubt I'll play some more of this in the future. We are going to be playing some more Returnal on a stream in the at some point soon. Really enjoyed defeating Frike earlier today. Um, trying to have a think about what other games I might stream as well. So I want a mix of sort of a bit more chilled ones like these. Um, and maybe some more action-y ones. Um, but we'll wait and see. Half thinking about doing the Resident Evil 4 remake as a stream series rather than what I've been doing with Resident Evil 4, the original, which is um, just doing a normal let's play editing, you know, playing offline, editing, uploading. I might do it as a stream. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if that would work the best. I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see. But thank you all for joining. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you're watching on Twitch, keep an eye out for more streams up and coming. have got some details um, both on Twitch and YouTube for like social media and mainly on Twitter. Um, so check out there if you want to see updates for me uploading and for when I'm going to stream. But thanks all for joining and I'll see you next time. Cheers.